we are going to set radius manager authentication for pppoe we don't have any pppoe server we will create a pool all right so create a new pppoe server uh, if you want to set a specific name for the service you can set that and uh, select LAN interface click on one session per host and just set PAP selected that is password authentication protocol apply and OK and under secrets here is the place where we will set use radius and set the time one minute apply and OK so you see uh, we create users under secrets and we don't have any user and we have one default profile just and in this service we set default profile okay so the radius manager will work so that means we are not using any bandwidth limitation on the uh, microtech radius manager will work for that all right just uh, click apply okay and we are all set for pppoe server setup uh, setup and uh, let's uh, set up hotspot server click on hotspot let's first check the hotspot profile users user profile so we don't have anything set up yet okay I'm going to use the setup wizard by clicking here hotspot setup select the interface uh, when we are configuring anything for the user that will be configured on LAN okay so we are going to set the same LAN port and uh, the local address is asking 10.1.0.0.1 this network will say yes and uh, the DHCP pool uh, should end yeah just 253 IP addresses and uh, we don't have any SSL certificates yet for the page uh, which users will be seeing uh, while they're connected to the internet and then a page will appear to enter username and the password and we can modify that as well in the next video I'll discuss that how you can do that and the SMTP address if you want to set one if you don't have one just uh, go with the 000 and the DNS uh, which we already have configured on Mikrotik that is 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 next and the DNS name whatever you want to set as uh, this is not going to be the page uh, on the internet so we don't recommend www so just uh, set uh, like telhanet dot com and starting with www one dot okay so we need to create one user at least uh, in the microtech and that is necessary so we'll create one with the admin and the password is this all right there is some problem in this uh, winbox application it does not disappear if even I click OK all right so here we need to uh, select the hotspot server and we will do address pool none apply and OK go to server profiles 
and here we are going to log in and we'll select HTTP PAP that is password authentication protocol and the HTTP cookie lifetime this is important because if a user connects with a username and password so that computer or that device will be saved under Microtech for three days if he or she connects back after two days they'll be able to connect without entering username and password just because this HTTP cookie lifetime so you have to change this here if you want to change and that uh, is depending on uh, the requirements or whatever you want you can change this accordingly okay so here is the option for hotspot we're going to select for using the radius radius is connected here and it will uh, request this radius to check the username and password and it will do the same thing time for updating uh, one minute apply and OK and we are all set for uh, hotspot as well and one thing we missed in the last video that was uh, the firewall okay so it is allowed under this one that all network is allowed and we set the PPPoE pool that was under 10.10.10.1210.10.254 so uh, that is under this uh, network so we don't need to add another rule otherwise if you have any other uh, network series you uh, you'll need to add that uh, IP address you can you can type the whole pool or just uh, just with the subnet so click on um, uh, select masquerade and apply OK that's it and we are all set for hotspot server as well in next video we'll be testing uh, the user on a computer which will be connected to this interface thank you